graphical representation of motion graphical representation of motion the relation between distance and time is better understood is better understood by drawing a graph between time and distance between time and distance generally time is plotted on x axis time is plotted on x axis and distance is plotted on y axis distance is plotted on y axis let us consider the straight line shown in the figure the straight line oab shown in the graph let t is rep is represented by the time t1 and distance s1 and b represents the time t2 and the distance s2 at a the time is t1 and at b the time is t2 so the time taken for the motion from a to b is t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 and the distance travel from a to b is s2 minus s1 the distance travel is s2 minus s1 hence the average speed is average speed is s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1 s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1 by drawing a horizontal line parallel to the x axis as ac and another vertical line bc then these two lines at meet at c forming a right angle triangle abc forming a right angle triangle abc here ac represents the time taken t2 minus t1 ac represents the time interval t2 minus t1 and bc represents the distance traveled s2 minus s1 the distance traveled s2 minus s1 hence average speed is bc by ac or s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1 like this also we can calculate the average speed from the ground in the previous graph we have taken a straight line the relation between time and distance is taken as a straight line this represents uniform speed the graph represents uniform speed wherever you calculate the speed you will get the same value of speed from the graph the speed need not be constant the speed need not need not be uniform always always the speed may not be uniform hence sometimes we will get non uniform speed when the speed is not uniform then we don't get a straight line graph between time and distance it will be a curve so as shown in the graph if you take the relation between time and distance as a curve that means the speed is not uniform so a non uniform speed is represented by a curve in in a graph a curve represents non uniform speed whereas a straight line represents uniform speed a straight line represents uniform speed remember the relation here is between time and distance the graph is between time and distance so in the time and distance graph in the distance time graph a straight line represents uniform speed and a curve represents non uniform speed non uniform speed velocity time graph velocity time graph we take time on x axis and velocity on y axis suppose the time is taken in seconds and velocity in meters per second if the velocity is constant then we will get a straight line graph parallel to parallel to the x axis if the constant velocity of the body is 40 meters per second then we get a curve or a straight line against 40 on y axis which is parallel to x axis 
like this we get we represent the uniform velocity so uniform velocity will be represented by a straight line in velocity time graph from graph we can calculate the displacement of the body an x axis 1 cm represents 1 second an x axis 1 cm represents 1 second and y axis say 1 cm represents 10 meters per second and y axis 1 cm represents say 10 meters per second then 10 meters per second into 1 second is 10 meters so area represents displacement in general the area can be calculated like this if we consider two points a and b on this curve and draw the ordinates ac and bd ac c is the position of time the instant of time t1 and d is the instant of time t2 then t2 minus t1 is the time interval and this is represented by cd ac or bd represents the constant velocity the area between a b c d is given by a c into c d the area of the rectangle a c into c d this gives displacement this is 40 meters per second into t2 minus t1 seconds that is 40 into t2 minus t1 like this we can calculate the displacement of the body we can calculate the displacement of the body by the area of the rectangle in the case of uniform velocity now let us study the velocity time graph of an accelerated body suppose a body starts from rest and it is accelerated then its velocity is continuously increased at a constant rate let us draw a graph of such a motion this graph will be a straight line graph passing through the horizon suppose time is plotted on x axis and velocity on y axis we know that time will be measured in seconds in SI system and velocity is measured in meters per second an x axis 1 centimeter is taken as 5 seconds on y axis each centimeter is represented with 10 meters per second velocity with the velocity 10 meters per second on y axis then the graph indicates the increase in velocity with time on this graph let us select two points a and e a and e draw the ordinates a b and e c draw the ordinates a b and e c the length b c represents the time taken the length b c represents the time taken and the velocity at a is initial velocity and the velocity at b is final velocity so if you draw a perpendicular from a onto ec and if this meets ec at d then ed is ed is the change in velocity the velocity corresponding to a is initial velocity the velocity corresponding to e is final velocity and the difference of these two velocities is the change in velocity and the time taken for this change in velocity is represented by ad which is 20 minus 10 10 seconds by dividing the change in velocity with the time taken by dividing the change in velocity with the time taken we get the acceleration of the body we get the acceleration of the body and the displacement of the body 
the displacement of the body during this interval of time is obtained is obtained by computing the area a b c e by computing the area a b c e we get the displacement of the body this area is the area between the vt curve and x axis and this area is divided into two parts it is divided into a b c d a rectangle and a d e a right angle triangle a d e is a right angle triangle and a b c d is a rectangle so the total area a b c e is equal to the area of the rectangle a b c d plus the area of the triangle a d e the area of the rectangle is given by a b into b c a b into b c gives the area of the rectangle and half a d into d e gives half half of a d into d e gives the area of the triangle hence the total area or the total displacement will be equal to a b into b c plus half of a d into d e by computing this the this area we get the displacement of the body the velocity time graph of non uniformly accelerated body velocity time graph of non uniformly accelerated body any curve other than a straight line other than a straight line either inclined upwards or inclined downwards it represents a non uniformly accelerated motion non uniformly accelerated motion if vt graph is a straight line then it represents a uniformly accelerated motion in the figure the first figure indicates uniformly decreasing velocity so it is it represents a decelerated motion it represents constant deceleration or negative acceleration negative acceleration in the in another figure we notice several parts of the curve represented by straight lines the curve having positive slope indicates accelerated motion the curve with negative slope indicates retarded motion from zero initially the initial part oa represents acceleration ab represents retardation bc represents acceleration and cd represents deceleration oa represents acceleration ab represents retardation bc represents acceleration and cd represents retardation though acceleration is represented by two curves the magnitudes of these two accelerations are not equal but o to a acceleration is constant and b to c acceleration is constant similarly a to b retardation is constant and c to d acceleration is constant retardation is constant but these two retardations are not equal so like this we have to understand the relation velocity time graph the relation between velocity and time by drawing a graph between velocity and time we know there are three equations of motion which are used in the study of an object which is moving with uniform acceleration to study the motion of a body along a straight line with uniform acceleration we have three relations they are v is equal to u plus at v is equal to u plus at s is equal to 
u t plus half a t square s is equal to u t plus half a t square and 2 a s is equal to v square minus u square v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s these are the three equations of motion here u represents the initial velocity v represents the final velocity s represents the displacement and a is the acceleration of the body from the first equation we can calculate the final velocity from the second equation we calculate the displacement and from the third equation we can find the final velocity or acceleration or displacement so these three relations can be derived from vt graph these three relations can be derived from velocity time graph to derive the relations to derive the relations let us take the straight line graph ab let us take the straight line graph ab from b draw the perpendiculars ac onto x axis and be onto y axis ac is perpendicular drawn from b onto x axis be is the perpendicular drawn from b onto y axis then the position of c represents the time t and the position of e represents the final velocity v the velocity at a is initial velocity u and the time is starting time t is equal to 0 from a let us draw a perpendicular ad onto b from a let us draw a perpendicular ad onto bc now let us proceed to determine to derive the relations from this graph 